Right, uh, here's a few uh, materials of what you need to make a jewel thief. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, little uh, ferrite beads. Now, uh, you need the ferrite bead to uh, wrap a uh, bifilia coil on. Now, uh, what I've done is I've uh, salvaged some two strand wire out of an old electrical component. And uh, if you get about a metre of that off, and then uh, put it through a needle, and then just keep threading it round until you get one that looks a bit like this. And I think I've got uh, 50 coils on this one. So you can see that uh, you can't see any of the ferrite. Now uh, all you have to do then is uh, strip back either side with a, a nice sharp knife and then uh, soldier or tin the ends ready to put onto the 2N2222 transistor. Now, uh, something else you need is a, uh, a 2K potentiometer and an LED. Now, the LED I'm using here, uh, if you attach it one way it lights up green, if you attach it the, uh, the other way it lights up red and uh, it does an interesting thing in this circuit that uh, it allows you to uh, test for polarity but it doesn't matter which way you hook the battery up. Right, the uh, the transistor uh, I've got the uh, collector, base and an emitter and all we're going to do is put this LED directly across the emitter and the collector it doesn't matter which way around because uh, as I said previously it's, uh, it's red in one direction and green in the other so I'm just going to solder that on there now that we've uh, soldered them two together, what we've got to do is uh, separate uh, the two wires either side. And uh, I don't know if you can see there, there's a, a gold and a red wire on either side. And what you do is you take one of the gold wires to the red wire on the other side and put this potentiometer between it, a little variable resistor, which is a 2K. And then the other side, doesn't matter which ones goes to the middle one and to the collector. So I'm going to solder that up now. Right, I've, uh, I've tinned all the ends of the coil now and I've took a red from the bottom and a gold from the top and in between them we're going to solder the resistor. Now uh, it doesn't matter which ones but uh, one of these, the other side, is going to go onto the base and the other one's going to go onto the collector of the transistor over here. And then from the emitter, we're going to have one of these power cables. So I've got little magnetic clips on the end. And then from the other side will be one of these two sides, but we'll test later. So I'm going to solder that all up now. Got the coil in place now. Uh, all we need to do is solder this wire on the emitter there and then find out whether it should be on the left or the right side of here that we solder this one on. So if we solder this one on first, connect the battery up and then just tap that lead onto either side and see if it lights up with one battery. It's the finished circuit then. Uh, what I've had to do is I've had to replace the uh, 2N2222 because uh, it just didn't work and I'll put a I think it was a BC547 uh, transistor in there instead that I just had knocking around. Now, if you have a look at this, if we put the battery across that there, you can see that it lights up green. And when you reverse the battery, I've noticed there's not enough current in this battery to light it red. But if we just put one more into it, you got your red, and then if you turn it around again the other way, you've got your green. So you've got a nice uh, polarity checker there as well. Another uh, super bright LED now. And then uh, just to show you what the uh, the ampage drawer is, it's uh, at 1.394 volts. We're drawing 45.4 milliamps.
That's great then. Thanks for watching.